So what is the spanning tree protocol? Well, I'm David Staples, and we're going to be talking about that right now. So if you're just looking for a brief overview of what the spanning tree protocol is, if you're studying for your network plus, uh, or perhaps even your security plus, and you've come across this video, uh, or maybe even just kind of starting into the Cisco CCNA or CCENT world, uh, we're just going to talk about what it is just very briefly here. We're not going to go into a whole lot of detail. We're not going to talk about the different versions of it or how to configure it. Uh, that can all come in a future video here very soon. Uh, but in the meantime, essentially, let's take this network that we've got right here. This is a program called Cisco Packet Tracer, and basically allows me to kind of emulate a network. Now, you'll notice that I've got these one, two, three, four switches here that I've got kind of a loop there, right? So essentially, let's say that this PC sent in a broadcast type of packet. And that broadcast basically would then be sent out every other port, right? So what's going to happen with that packet? Well, we know that it's going to come from here into this switch four, down to switch three, switch one, back over here to switch five. And it's going to basically just keep on going in this loop. Well, that's not a good thing because we know that as our packets move across the router, it will actually decrement that time to live field by one. It doesn't do that on a switch. So essentially now we're basically just creating this broadcast storm that is going to just stay there until someone actually comes in and intervenes. So not a good thing. So the spanning tree protocol essentially allows us to basically put a block on one of these ports. And you can actually see that right here. So where it shows this little orange light, essentially what's happening here is it has detected that as it goes through the spanning tree election process, it basically figures out we've got this loop. We need to actually put a block right here. So it automatically blocks any sort of traffic from coming in and out of that port. Pretty neat stuff, right? So as I mentioned, there are various different versions of spanning tree. Uh, there's a lot of detailed config configuration information that we'll go over in another video. I hope you stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to click on like if you like the video. And if you've got any questions as you're studying for one of these exams, be sure to leave those in the comments below. I can usually answer those pretty quickly. Uh, anyhow, look forward to seeing you guys in a future video. You guys take care. We'll see you soon. <laughs>